Remember this photo? A blue collection box being removed from a Portland neighborhood back in August. The image went viral. Then there were similar photos, like this one from Eugene, along with various reports of disappearing mailboxes in other states, sparking speculation that President Trump might be trying to sabotage mail-in voting. This is the kind of fight that most Americans have a side they want to be on. And it is not the side that is stealing the mailboxes and telling us that, mm, yeah, it doesn't think you don't think it's going to work out for you to get your ballot in on time. The public outcry was fierce. Oregon's Democratic senators held a press conference. We are not going to let Donald Trump and his bullies take away that sacred vote by mail effort. And Congressman Peter DeFazio created a video. They're not getting this one. Facing intense backlash, on August 18th, Postmaster General Louis DeJoy halted operational cost-cutting changes until after the 2020 election, including the removal of those blue collection boxes. DeJoy later testified before a House Oversight Committee. If you wouldn't mind uh, telling us about the process briefly of the removal of the blue boxes, who ordered them, and uh, how that came about. So, so this is a, a, a long-standing uh, 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 thing that's been going on in the Postal Service for a long time. Uh, Suggested there was nothing sinister going on. I am not engaged in sabotaging the election. Which got me wondering, what's the real story behind those disappearing mailboxes? To find out, I submitted a Freedom of Information Act to the U.S. Postal Service, asking for a breakdown of every blue mailbox. It was a huge list and showed over the past five years, more than 17,000 collection bins have been removed across the country. It's nothing new. Dozens of blue mailboxes seem discarded like trash behind a- The disappearing mailboxes may seem more pronounced recently in some areas, but the data shows since DeJoy was appointed Postmaster General in May, the greatest number of collection boxes were removed from both traditional blue and red states, including Oregon, Texas, Florida, New Jersey, and Nebraska. A closer look at the boxes removed recently in Oregon shows many came from the heavily populated left-leaning Portland and Eugene areas, but other more conservative rural areas in southern and eastern Oregon lost their blue boxes too. A Postal Service spokesperson explained boxes removed in Oregon this year were duplicates, where there were two or three in one location, and decisions are based on mail volume. More specifically, a 2016 Inspector General report said Collection bins are taken out if they receive fewer than 25 pieces a day, which strongly suggests, along with the data, that these blue boxes have been disappearing because people just aren't using them, not because of politics. Kyle Aboshi, KGW News.